Those young men uh, in December 4th, 1906, on the campus of Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, they were drawn together for a common good because they wanted to, a brotherhood. And even as a child, I uh, saw Alphas in a, in a light. I, I really, really respected Martin Luther King. He was a childhood hero. It amazed me how a person who lived 39 years had such a dynamic impact on the world. I have a dream today. As a matter of fact, at one time in 1950 and before, 90% of all HBCU presidents were alphas. You're here on the campus of Philander Smith College. We house the mother chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha in the state of Arkansas. So the Beta Chi chapter, you met some of those young men earlier. They are part of the oldest chapter in the state of Arkansas. A man that uh, inspired me to be an alpha is Kendall McManus Thomas. He showed me that it's more than life than to be selfish, than to do things only for yourself, your uh, personal gain. It's always good to look back and pull someone else up when they need help. And that's what Alpha means to me, to help a brother when he needs help. Uh, here at our house, which is on the National Register, we clean up the community, we provide service to widows, we uh, also work with young people on the weekends, we bring them to college experiences, we give them uh, lessons on life. Alpha Phi Alpha promotes every weekend, every, every month of every year, that we must be in our community. If we're not, then we don't need to be here. Service, service builds our community. Without service, we don't have anything. If, we, if we're all isolated in our own little pods or our own little vessels, we can't help the, the next person next to us. We can't help the next group next to us. Eight, five, eight, five, eight, step. 